Hey Tribe, it's me Kiki T and I'm back for another video. This is going to be day five of the Future Husband Prayer Challenge and um, I'm just going to record the next three days right now. I'm not going to even try to change my outfit like reset the camera and all of that because I want to I want to get it done so I can post it and schedule it for this upcoming week. Um, yeah, we're going to get our husbands. Some people are going to testify like and I'm believing that I will testify before the year is out. So I want to get this done and then um, I want to get this done and put out. So the scripture for day five, the scripture for day five is 1 Corinthians 5, 15, 33 and 1 Peter 3, 8 through 18. So 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. I'm going to start at 29 to 33. Otherwise, what will they do who are baptized for the dead if they do, if the dead do not rise at all? Why then are they baptized for the dead? And why do we stand in jeopardy every hour? I affirm it by the boasting in, in you, which I have in Christ Jesus, our Lord. I die daily. If in the manner of man I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage is it to me? If the dead do not rise, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. So, Father God, we just thank you on today. Thank you for allowing me to be able to come in front of your people and pray in agreement with my sisters in Christ for our future husbands. Father God, I pray that you would just cover this video, cover this series in the blood of Jesus, and cover me in the blood. Um, I give my mouth to you, Father, and I give my thoughts, my words, and just my entire being. I surrender it to you in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you would be, you would uh, put a blessing on this, on this word, on these videos in Jesus name. Father God, we come into, we come to you in humility. We come to you surrendered father, um, just seeking guidance and seeking provision for our future husbands and, and, um, in intercession for our husbands, Father God, we thank you for the man that you've created them to be. We thank you that you have given us the strength to come to you in prayer, Father God, even though this journey may have been long for some of us, um, or may be long um, for some of us, and it's not an easy journey to go through, Father God, but we thank you that you give us the strength every day to get up and keep believing in the word and in the promise that you have given us in the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray and ask that you would give us the strength to die daily, both us and our husbands in the name of Jesus. Give us the strength to die daily and continue to surrender our will and emotions to you in the name of Jesus. Father God, you know our hearts and you know our humanity. And we just pray that you would continue to allow us to grow in you and grow closer to you as we grow closer to each other, Father. Um, I pray that anyone of us, any one of our husbands who have been deceived um, by the company that they are keeping, I pray that you would give us knowledge and wisdom, give our husbands knowledge and wisdom to know that good evil company corrupts good character, Father God. And so I pray that you would give us the strength to cut off those um, evil connections, give us the strength to cut off those um, demonic soul ties give us the strength to let go of the of the things that are not of you so that we may grow closer to you and and develop our character to be more like you in the name of jesus help us to die daily father god to your will help us to die daily um, for your will help us to die daily to our flesh in the name of jesus and i thank you for the strength to continue on our journey excuse me, in growing close to you in the name of Jesus. The second scripture is 1 Peter 3, 8 through 18. Eight through 18. 
Finally, all of you be of one mind, having compassion for one another, love as brothers, be tenderhearted, be courteous, not returning evil for evil or, revi or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to do, called to this, that you may inherit for a blessing. For he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him speak peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to, the, to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And who is and who is he who will harm you if you become followers of what is good? But even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you are blessed and do not be afraid of their threats, nor be troubled, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience that when they defame you as evildoers, those who revile your good conduct in Christ may be ashamed. For it is better if it is if it is the will of God to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just or for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Lord this is a hefty word just within these few um, scriptures. And so I, I pray that you would bring the fullness of this word into our lives, Father God. Um, I thank you for call, calling us to be submissive wives, um, submissive to our own husbands, Father God. And I thank you for giving, the, giving us the knowledge and the wisdom to be submissive to our own husbands that our union may be pure and whole as you've called it to be lord i pray that you would give us compassion for our husbands and you would give our husbands compassion for us um we know that we're not perfect we know that we're human and it's not always easy to go through this process but we thank you that for this guidance that your word is giving us to have compassion for one another and love each other. I pray that you will remind us that we are brothers and sisters of Christ before we are husband and wife and that we need to really keep that in mind. I pray that you would help us to keep that in mind and help us to keep that part of your word specifically close to our hearts so that we can let go of judgment and let go of expectations when it comes to our husbands and when I, when it comes to our, our husband's expectations for us. Um, and I pray that you would give us both, like me and my husband, the compa compassion enough to not go tit for tat with each other, not return evil for evil um, to each other. I pray that you would Help us to love life and see good days. I pray that you would help him to refrain his tongue from evil in the name of Jesus and keep his lips from, from speaking deceit. I pray, Father God, that you would help him to turn away from evil and do good in the name of Jesus. Let him seek peace and pursue it in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for causing our husbands to pursue peace in the name of Jesus. Thank you for keeping your eyes on us as you, as your remnant, God, as your right as as the righteous, um, and thank you for opening your ears to our prayers in the name of Jesus. Thank you for encouraging us through this um, scripture that you do hear our prayers and that it is not falling onto hard soil like it does sometimes in our lives, like your word does fall on on hard soil in our lives. But when every time we open up to you in prayer father god that you hear us and you see our tears and even when we have no words to speak father god you know what we're trying to convey and what we're trying to tell you i thank you for that father god thank you for turning our enemies into our footstool, Father God. 
thank you for seeing those who have done us wrong, seeing those who have intentionally tried to harm us and, tr and intentionally tried to keep us from our union in the name of Jesus. Thank you for seeing us all and thank you for being Elroy. Thank you for who you are, Father. And thank you that because you are for us, that nobody can be against us. And any, every, any and every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned in the name of Jesus. Thank you for giving us a spirit of long-suffering. Thank you for giving us strength to suffer for your righteousness, Father God. And even though we may have been suffering through this process of waiting for our husbands or becoming the wives that we are supposed to be for our husbands and our family, I thank you that you've, you've um, grown patience in us. You've grown meekness and fear in us. And thank you for um, defaming the evildoers. And thank you for giving us a mindset to know that even though there there may be a lot of warfare coming against us, we know that it is for you, Father God, and ultimately it is for your glory. So thank you for giving us the strength to make it through in the name of Jesus. I'm going to go to the next.